Hi guys. Once upon a time, I once received PayPal donations on my YouTube channel. And now I'd like to begin again receiving donations. Now, the last time I did this, that caused an enormous amount of controversy here on YouTube and problems for me. So this video is going to be about explaining what happened in the past and what's going to be different now. Let me start by just telling you what I'm going to be doing now. Right now, immediately, uh, starting right now, there's a link on my front page as well as at the bottom of this video to my PayPal account, which you can donate to. I will be paying an income tax on all the money that I receive. I will be treating it as income and paying an income tax. I hope I made that clear. And other than that, I have no intention of using the money for anything else other than whatever I decide I want to use it for. If you're comfortable with that, you can donate to me. If you're not comfortable with that, then don't. That being said, let's talk about what happened last time. Last time I accepted donations was back in 2007, I believe it was, which is about three or four years ago. And there was about a two-month, three-month period in which I did receive donations. Now, I've been on YouTube since 2006, so really if you take the entire time in which I've been on YouTube compared to the amount of time in which I've received money, I've only received money for a very short period of time. So anyone who says, I'm only on YouTube to make money, or that, you know, Christians only preach the Bible because they're trying to make money. While I understand that's a concern, I mean, when you go to a church and they pass around the offering plate, I understand why some people become uncomfortable and they feel like the message being preached is somehow less genuine because the preacher is receiving money for it. I can understand that. And yet at the same time, there are very many sincere preachers who make their living preaching, and yet, yes, they, they make their living doing that. But that doesn't mean they're any less sincere in what they believe or in what they, what they teach. So, for those of you who've known me for any period of time, who've watched me on YouTube, you know that I am committed to preaching what the Bible says. That's always been the heart of, uh, of that's always been my heart, that's been the heart of this ministry and will continue to be, and that's all I've ever intended. That being said, I am in school full-time right now, and uh, I even have a part-time job. I'm working in a bingo hall. Uh, not really, you know, where I, I feel like my interests and passions and talents are really flourishing, but hey, there's nothing wrong with an honest day's work. I just feel like back when I was receiving donations, what that, had did, what that did for me was it freed up my time. It allowed me not to have a part-time job, and so I could spend more time and have more resources to sort of uh, channel into my YouTube videos. And if you guys remember back then, I was going out there and I was... I was uh, street witnessing, I was doing all kinds of sort of unique things that I, I didn't typically do, and now I'm sort of just stuck preaching in front of a green screen, and I'd like to be able to do, do more, but right now with school and work and all that sort of I just can't right now. I'd like to, so maybe you guys can help me. That being said, let's talk about some of the other problems that happened uh, back when I did receive donations. One of the biggest problems was I had said originally, and this was a mistake, I had said originally that I would donate to a very specific charity, and unfortunately that charity happened to be right next to where I lived, and so that revealed my location. Shortly thereafter, I received death threats and prank phone calls, and my family got involved, and it turned into just this drama, and it was just heartache, and uh, it was problematic. So what I did was I tried to disassociate myself from my original uh, intentions in order to, you know, sort of protect my security, and in so doing, I think I enraged a lot of people. People felt I was being disingenuous, and uh, and that just looked really bad. And so uh, I, I apologize for that, but I, I think you can understand uh, why I, I did that. Uh, there was also other problems, but you know what? The people who accuse me of doing wrong uh, with what I was originally doing with the PayPal account are typically atheists who never supported me to begin with. The only people who felt that I did wrong with the money are the people who didn't actually donate money. The people who did donate, um, I explained what was going on and they were very comfortable with that. I even emailed personally every single person who donated to me and explained the situation and they gave me the, the thumbs up and I have all those emails saved. So no one was wronged. The only people who felt wronged are the people who wanted to accuse me. And, you know, in, in Revelation it says that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And, and why? Because Satan knows that if he can discredit the messengers, then no one's going to listen to the message. So Satan's very busy. 
trying to make Christians look bad. And look, if you just do a quick search of my name on YouTube, you'll find countless videos of atheists who we know, according to the Bible, who are under the prince of the power of the air, who are energized by him. Yes, they, they accuse Christians, and they're, you know, I find it so hypocritical, you know, when an atheist points his finger and says, you're a liar, or you're a thief, or you're a murderer, uh, not that I've ever murdered anyone, but, you know, what are they really saying? They're affirming, thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal, thou shall not lie. Those are moral absolutes, divine imperatives. I mean, I don't see where those come in in an atheistic worldview. I mean, survival of the fittest. If, if lying and stealing and murdering gets you to the top and helps you to survive, then why not, right? So it seems like uh, they have to appeal to our worldview to even accuse us of doing wrong in the first place. And that's what Romans chapter 1 and 2 says. It says, you know, you who accuse another, do you not do the same things? And in accusing another, we, we prove that we are aware of God's moral law, which proves that the atheist, to the degree that he's sensitive to moral absolutes, actually isn't an atheist, and he betrays himself. So I actually enjoy, to some kind of extent, being accused by atheists of doing wrong, because right and wrong can only exist if there is an ultimate standard of right and wrong, which is only possible in the biblical worldview. And so that aside, um, I don't say that I did everything right in the past. That's not what I'm, I'm not trying to justify myself. If I've done wrong by the Christians here on YouTube, I apologize. To an atheist, I, I don't see what your basis for, you first have to justify right and wrong in an atheistic worldview, and I don't think you can. That being said, I'm, I'm hoping to avoid a lot of the mistakes that I did make uh, the first time around. Um, I'm not making any promises regarding the money other than I'm going to pay an income tax on it, and I'm going to do with the money whatever I want to do with it, and that's it. And again, so your donation is based upon your knowledge of me, your trust in my ministry. If you've been following it, you know what I'm about, and I'm trusting you to trust me if you trust me. And if you don't, I'm okay with that too. So, that being said, um, I only want you guys to donate to me if you are donating out of your abundance, out of a conviction in your heart that this ministry is something you want to plug into, if you feel that the Venom Fang X YouTube channel is important to YouTube as the most subscribed Christian channel, here on YouTube, and by no means do not make my ministry more important than your local church. So donate there first. That's where your tithe or your whatever you want to call it, that's where your money should go first. If after you do that, you find you still are able to, to bless me, then I've made an avenue for you to do that. But please do not put this ministry over your local church or your local tithe. Uh, so I, I just need to make that, make that very clear. And again, if you don't have a lot of money, if you're on a shoestring budget, if you're just struggling to stay afloat, I don't want your money, okay? This is only for those who want to bless this ministry, who can, because God has blessed them with an abundance, and they're able to do that, and you want to do that. So I hope I've made that clear. That being said, I don't have much else to say. I am expecting a backlash from the atheist goons here on YouTube. Um, but that just comes with the territory. So, uh, for those of you who do support the Venom Fang X channel, who will not support it financially, but you do support it otherwise by just watching my videos or subscribing, you are just as much uh, a help to this channel as anyone else. So I, I thank you for that. And again, if, if donating to me somehow makes you feel like uh, I'm somehow less genuine in my message, then do, do not donate to me. Just enjoy my videos for what they are and, and just hear the message that's being preached here. And for those of you who want to donate, you are now able to do so. If you have any concerns whatsoever, by all means, contact me, and I'd be happy to discuss uh, whatever you want to uh, in a private message. So that being said, uh, God bless you guys, and thank you for supporting the Venom Fang X channel.